deep sea fishing vessel for one of our entrepreneurs who is involved in blue economy uh, and this vessel has the capacity uh, to do deep fishing and to be able to supply to the local and the international market this vessel is uh, currently stationary because uh, the entrepreneur and the partners require working capital of about 100 million Kenya shillings that is 1 million US dollars uh, so working with the entrepreneur currently uh, she is in cohort 4 and we are building her capacity through the Ignite uh, learning course the online platform and uh, of course looking forward to transitioning her to uh, technical coaching uh, for business business technical support market access support and financial access support from what we have seen in her business uh, she has the potential to be able to actually uh, do the deep fishing uh, the deep sea fishing uh, the, the ship is in good shape requires a bit of maintenance on the cold room um, which I believe we support from investors and because there is a ready market uh, in South Korea there is a ready market in Japan there is also a ready market in Spain we will work with the entrepreneur to assist her uh, with the market linkages she requires and the financial linkages uh, so that they can be able to get this vessel back onto the deep sea and they can be able to continue running their business. My name is uh, Lois Mwangi. Mm -hmm. I'm the founder and director at uh, Alapuri Fish Supply, which is our business. Our main business is uh, deep sea fishing, fish distribution, and uh, fish processing. Yeah, our major challenge is uh, lack of enough storage uh, to, to, to store our fish to, to avoid uh, post harvest losses and to, enable, to ensure that our distribution is uh, consistent. So we are, looking, we, are, we are looking for a way to improve our distribution uh, capacity, get to get processing equipment and uh, distribution facilities and cold uh, storage facilities. That's how we wish that uh, uh, the Michelle Foundation uh, assist us. We are very impressed by uh, that kind of, of model that uh, even where the working capital may be significant, they are able to uh, to get back the investment within three, three or four months. So definitely for the case of Lois, we'll be out looking for investors that are keen to do working capital, but of course on the side of We identified Lois through, uh, we sent out a call or an invitation for, for businesses to apply to our program and Lois applied and one of the things we are very happy about is Lois is obviously one of our entrepreneurs that is not based in the capital city. A big goal we have uh, as the Women Creating Wealth program in Kenya is to take our our intervention, our services out into the counties because we want to bring businesses uh, outside the, the capital city, outside Nairobi. We want, we want to make sure that we are identifying businesses uh, like Loises uh, so that they can gain uh, the advantages that we have uh, in the program that, that we are giving. And actually one of the things we've, we've just discussed with with Lois today is the opportunity to expand her business to corporate or B2B where she has the potential to double her, her sales or double her, her revenue. 